folks, and thank you for listening in today. I am hoping to bring a few words on Luke chapter 22 and Hebrews chapter 9, verses 16 to 28. In this passage we find uh, there's, there's conversation around the Passover feast and the preparation for it, but we find that Jesus teaches his disciples uh, the new covenant, and he, he teaches them that he is the Passover lamb. And that celebration of the Passover feast becomes the remembrance of Jesus' death. But what a message that word Passover carries. Whenever we trust in Jesus' great sacrifice, then Passover as in, in Jesus becomes reality to us. It's Passover from death to life in Jesus. It's Passover from rags, from a sin of from rags of sin uh, to riches uh, of a life in Jesus. <clears throat> from judgment to being set free, from a life without meaning to a life with a constant friend who we know will never leave us. From guilt to freedom, freedom from our past and freedom in our present. From a life uh, with, uh, from eternity without God to eternity with God. And this is all because of Jesus. We read a lot of Jesus' mock, uh, how Jesus was mocked and how he was tortured in this chapter. And we see in, ver in verse 53 where the chief priests and the elders came out to arrest Jesus. And it tells us that there was a chief priest and there were elders and the power of darkness. And that's Satan. And Jesus um, turns around and says, Now this is your hour. And that was to the, the elders and the priests and to Satan himself. And only when they were allowed, they'd done their worst on Jesus. And how the innocent suffered for the guilty, for you and me. What a saviour. Even at this low point in uh, verse 69, Jesus was looking at how the Father was going to bring him through it. And he, and he says, from now on, the Son of Man shall be seated on the right hand of the power of God. And this all ties in with Hebrews chapter 9 verse 24 where it says Jesus entered into heaven to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. So not only did Jesus allow himself to be a sacrifice, the Passover lamb, but he also appears before his father for us. He didn't just, and I say just in inverted commas, he didn't just die for us and leave us to get on with it but he continually cares for us. And we see that care uh, for Peter in the, the, the Luke passage. And he says to Peter, even though, Peter, you're going to mock up, even though, Peter, you're going to deny me, even you're going to turn your back on me, I have prayed for you. I care for you. And as we look at that care, uh, we we see how the writer in Hebrews, in, verses, uh, in chapter 9, verse 17, he talks about a will. And it says that a will only comes into effect when a person dies. Uh, it only comes into effect at death. And because Jesus died, we who trust in him inherit the good things that he's promised for us. Because he's made us his, his sons and his daughters. And at this point, can I ask you, have you trusted in Jesus? What do you stand to inherit when you pass on? As, as to bring this to a close, all of us here, the Passover, the suffering, the care he has, the inheritance we have, and more, they're all centred in Jesus. But it would be a poor gospel if we loved and served a dead saviour. What we see in verse 24, he's alive. Yes, He's alive and in the presence of his Father, praying and interceding for us, caring for us. Could we even add to this here? And yes, we can. Because in verse 28, it tells us Jesus, our Christ, is coming back again for those who are eagerly waiting for him. 
Thank you, Lord, for all you are to us. Father, we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love to us. We thank you for the plan of salvation. We thank you for Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we just thank you for your death on the cross. Thank you for the pain and the suffering and all of that there for your family. Oh, Lord, we just thank you we're part of that. And, Father, we just ask you to help us as this, even this week goes on, Lord, that you will um, help us to know you more and more in your sufferings. And thank you for Sunday when you are alive again. And, Lord, we don't serve a dead Saviour. Hallelujah. And, Lord, we just pray that you'll uh, help us to understand you more. We ask it in your name.